Here we are today with the Invincible Iron Man Surprise Attack. Tony Stark was ready for the busy day ahead of him. With Pepper Potts' help, Tony found a nice tie to wear for today's meeting with Victor Wong, one of the biggest businessmen in the United States. Tony was very excited to discuss Stark Industries, new technology, and inventions with Mr. Wong. This was a very important meeting. But as Tony took a sip of his coffee, he almost spit it back out. Not because it tasted bad or it was too hot, but because when he looked up from his mug, he spotted something outside of his window. There was a large robot-like villain attacking a building. It was Crimson Dynamo. Quickly, Tony took out a secret briefcase from under his desk and unlocked it. Inside was his famous Iron Man armor. He called Pepper. Pepper, tell Mr. Wong I'm going to be running late, Tony said. What? You can't be late for this meeting. It's with Victor Wong, the president of M.O. Incorporated. Pepper panicked. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of something right now, Tony said, staring at his own reflection in the Iron Man helmet. He knew it was his duty as Iron Man to stop Crimson Dynamo and protect innocent civilians. <clears throat> Shooting off into the sky, Iron Man felt ready for whatever Crimson Dynamo might throw at him but he could feel his stomach starting to turn a little. Tony hated to admit it, but sometimes even superheroes could get a little nervous about a big meeting, let alone being late for one. Instead, he focused all of his energy on defeating Crimson Dynamo. He flew toward the evil supervillain ready for action. <clears throat> As Iron Man approached the great villain, it seemed like Crimson Dynamo was expecting him, and so was Titanium Man. Iron Man was caught by surprise. Crimson Dynamo was causing mayhem in front of Stark Tower, purposely to get Tony's attention and bring him right into a trap set by not one, but two supervillains. Tony wondered what these thugs were up to. He knew they enjoyed stealing his inventions for their own evil purposes. Crimson Dynamo, eager to get the first shot at the superhero, immediately aimed his weapon at Iron Man. Luckily for Tony, the villain missed and got the Stark Tower's antenna instead. Hey, you better pay for that. Not like the technology you stole from me, Iron Man yelled. <laughs> so Iron Man has come out to play, Titanium Man said. What about a game of tag, Iron Man asked. Swiftly, the Armored Avenger fired a repulsor blast at Titanium Man. Tag, you're it. Iron Man dashed off behind a building. The crooks quickly followed. Glancing back, Iron Man was not sure how he was going to take on two supervillains at the same time. But he needed to get those thugs away from the people inside the buildings and watching from the streets below. We don't want to play hide and seek with you, Crimson Dynamo yelled, clearly frustrated. We want the new Stark Industries technology that you invented. Come and fight like a real superhero, if you even are one, Titanium Man shouted. While the two villains were busy looking for Iron Man, they did not notice Tony sneaking up behind them. 
Didn't your mother ever teach you to say please? Iron Man interrupted them. And as a matter of fact, you can't have my new inventions because I'll be presenting them in my meeting today, which you're making me late for. The two thugs were shocked to see Iron Man behind them. Now it's my turn to count to ten, Iron Man shouted. Instantly, the invincible Iron Man raised his arms, aiming his repulsors directly at the two supervillains. One, two, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Iron Man yelled. Before they knew it, Iron Man shot his powerful repulsor blast at full force. It looked like Iron Man might be able to stop Crimson Dynamo and Titanium Man and be back in time for his meeting. But then, Crimson Dynamo started to get back up. Tony immediately increased his power levels to 300%. Then Iron Man grabbed hold of Titanium Man and lifted him high above his head. Titanium Man tried to fight back, but was completely powerless. Let me go, Titanium Man whined, but Iron Man ignored him and shot up, up, up until he was higher than any skyscraper still holding on to the metallic menace. Then, with all his might, Iron Man flung Titanium Man down at Crimson Dynamo, knocking them both out at the same time. I got a strike, Iron Man joked, watching the two supervillains fall helplessly to the ground like bowling pins. The police were already at the scene to arrest them. Now, if you boys would excuse me, I have a meeting to attend, Iron Man said. Iron Man rushed back to his office and took off his helmet. He glanced at his clock. It looked as if he would be on time for his meeting after all. I guess I'll have to make do with helmet hair, Tony said to himself as he tried to fix his hair. The jitters he was originally feeling were long gone. If the invincible Iron Man could handle two giant supervillains, then Tony Stark could definitely handle one big boss. Tony smiled confidently to himself. All in a day's work for a billionaire businessman and the invincible Iron Man. The end. Hope you enjoyed that video. Look forward to seeing you at the next. God bless.